the question asks if the following reaction is going to occur. So you have 10 nitrate in its aqueous form, and you got solid manganese, and that turns into 10 in solid form, with manganese being paired up with nitrate in its aqueous form. Now, since you already know this is a redox reaction, there's going to be a transfer of electrons. So let's see which one here has a charge on it and which one has no charge. Manganese is in its solid state, so you know it has a zero charge. And here, tin is in a solid state, so it has a zero charge. Now, nitrate has a negative one charge, and there's two of them. So this total thing has two, a two minus. That means tin has to have a two plus in order for this thing to be neutral. And the same goes here. Nitrate, there's two of them, so it's a two minus charge total. So manganese must have a two plus charge. Now, nitrate is just being transferred here, and it's this aqueous form. It's not actually participating in any reaction. It remains that same. It has the same charge on it again. So we're not going to write this in our net ionic equation. And the net ionic equation is going to help us see what's going on. So if we write this, we have 10 in its 2 plus form and it's aqueous. And then we have manganese in its solid form. I'm going to write 0 here to show its oxidation number. And you have 10 here now in its solid state and it's a 0 oxidation number. And manganese in its aqueous state and has a 2 plus charge. Now will this reaction occur? So which one is higher up the activity series? So when you have your activity series, that tells you which is more reactive and then which is more likely to go undergo oxidation. If you look, 10 is somewhere around here and manganese is higher up. That means manganese is more likely to, to get oxidized. And in this situation, manganese went from zero to two plus. So it lost electrons because electrons are negatively charged. Therefore, manganese did get oxidized. And since manganese is up the activity series, this reaction will happen. Now, say you actually want to go backwards. Will this happen? Well, here, 10 is being oxidized if it were to go backwards. And since 10 is lower the activity, down the activity series, it's not going to get oxidized in the back, if in a backwards reaction. So no, this backwards reaction would not happen.